The Grand Strand is a popular vacation spot for millions of visitors, and now Myrtle Beach has made it to the national stage through reality television, joining the ranks of bigger cities like New York, LA, and Atlanta. Now that the first episode has aired, interest in Myrtle Manor or Patrick's Mobile Home Park has picked up. Cynthia Kaiser stopped by to take pictures. I thought it was good. It was a cute show. Um, it was interesting. It seemed like something I could watch. We have people want to buy houses and rent houses, do a Myrtle Manor wedding, do a weekend. I mean, you know, it, but nobody from Myrtle Beach called us. <laughs> While there are fans, others had different opinions of the brightly painted mobile homes and the characters who live in them. It was shocking. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting it to be like that at all. I wish they kind of would have picked a different place to show off Myrtle Beach. Yeah, I didn't think it was completely accurate at all. And it seemed, it's, what I saw of it seemed to be completely scripted and staged. It didn't seem real at all. So I asked cast member and park owner Cecil Patrick if it was staged. We're following 17 people's lives. Probably 80% of it is real and 20% of it we start in the direction. They say try this or try that. It's TV. It's entertainment. You know it's not a perfect life. But you can go anywhere in Myrtle Beach and see what you saw last night on TV.